Hello and welcome to MBKM Models, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and follow for more aircraft documentaries and model build videos. The Fairy Swordfish is a biplane torpedo bomber, designed by the Fairy Aviation Company, originating in the early 1930s. The Swordfish nicknamed the String Bag was principally operated by the fleet air arm of the Royal Navy. It was also used by the Royal Air Force, as well as several overseas operators including the Royal Canadian Air Force and the Royal Netherlands Navy. It was initially operated primarily as a fleet attack aircraft. During its later years the Swordfish was increasingly used as an anti-submarine and training platform. The type was in frontline service throughout the Second World War. Despite being outmoded by 1939, the Swordfish achieved some spectacular successes during the war. Notable events included sinking one battleship and damaging two others of the Regia Marina the Italian Navy during the Battle of Dranto and the famous attack on the German battleship Bismarck which contributed to her eventual demise. Swordfish aircraft sank a greater tonnage of Axis shipping than any other Allied aircraft during the war. The Swordfish remained in frontline service until the E-Day, having outlived some of the aircraft intended to replace it. In July 1936, the Swordfish formally entered service with the fleet air arm which was then part of the RAF-825 Naval Air Squadron that became the first squadrons to receive the type that month. The Swordfish began replacing both the Fairy Seal in the Spotter Reconnaissance role and the Blackburn Baffin in the Torpedo Bomber role in competition with the Blackburn Shark in the Combined role. Initially, the Shark replaced the Seal in the Spotter Reconnaissance Squadrons and the Swordfish replaced the Baffin in the Torpedo Squadron after which the Shark was quickly replaced by the Swordfish. For nearly two years during the late 1930s the Swordfish was the sole torpedo bomber aircraft equipping the FAA. By the eve of war in September 1939 the FAA, which had been transferred to Royal Navy control had 13 operational squadrons equipped with the Swordfish Mark I, there were also three flights of Swordfish equipped with floats for use with catapult-equipped warships. After the outbreak of the Second World War, 26 FAA squadrons were equipped with the Swordfish, more than 20 second-line squadrons also operated the Swordfish for training. During the early months of the conflict, the Swordfish operated in mostly uneventful fleet protection and convoy escort missions. On the 14th of June 1940, soon after the Italian declaration of war, nine Swordfish of 767 Naval Air Squadron stationed in High Ires, Provence Alpes Côte d'Isère, France took off for the first Allied bombing raid upon Italian soil. Four days later, 767 Squadron relocated to Bone. Algeria before being split, the training elements returning to Britain while the operational portion proceeded to RAF Halfar on Malta, where it was renumbered as 830 Naval Air Squadron. On 30 June, operations recommenced with an opening night raid upon oil tanks at Augusta, Sicily. On 3 July 1940, the Swordfish was one of the main weapons during the attack on Mers el Kebir an attack by the Royal Navy upon the French Navy fleet stationed at Oran in French Algeria to prevent the vessels falling into German hands. Twelve swordfish from 810 and 820 Naval Air Squadrons launched from the aircraft carrier HMS Ark Royal and conducted three sorties of attacks upon the anchored fleet. The torpedo attack, which crippled the French battleship Dunkirk and damaged other vessels present demonstrated that capital ships could be effectively attacked while in harbor. It was also the first time in history that the Royal Navy had won a battle without the use of gun fire. Shortly after the Mers el Kabir attack, a detachment of three swordfish were sent to support British Army operations in the Western Desert, in response to a request for torpedo aircraft to destroy hostile naval units operating off the coast of Libya. On the 22nd of August the three aircraft destroyed two U-boats one destroyer and a replenishment ship in the Gulf of Bomba Libya using only three torpedoes. On the 11th of November 1940, 
Swordfish flying from HMS Illustrious achieved great success in the Battle of Taranto. The main fleet of the Italian navy was based at Taranto in southern Italy in light of the success of the earlier attack upon the French navy at Mers el Kebir. Members of the Admiralty sought another victory under similar conditions. The Royal Navy had conducted extensive preparations with some planning having taken place as early as 1938, when war between the European powers had already seemed inevitable. Regular aerial reconnaissance missions were flown to gather intelligence on the positions of specific capital ships and swordfish crews were intensively trained for night flying operations as an undetected aerial attack during the night raid had been judged to be the only effective method of reasonably overcoming the defenses of the well-protected harbor and to strike at the fleet anchor there, originally scheduled for the 21st of October 1940. The Taranto raid was delayed until the 11th of November to allow for key reinforcements to arrive and other commitments to be met. The aerial attack started with a volley of flares being dropped by swordfish aircraft to illuminate the harbor after which the swordfish formation commenced bombing and torpedo runs. Due to the presence of barrage balloons and torpedo nets restricting the number of suitable torpedo dropping positions many of the swordfish had been armed with bombs and made a synchronized attack upon the cruisers and destroyers instead. The six torpedo armed swordfish inflicted serious damage on three of the battleships, two cruisers, two destroyers and other vessels were damaged or sunk. The high maneuverability of the swordfish was attributed with enabling the aircraft to evade intense anti-aircraft fire and hit the Italian ships. The Battle of Taranto firmly established that naval aircraft were independently capable of immobilizing an entire fleet and were an effective means of altering the balance of power. The Japanese assistant naval attaché to Berlin, Takashi Naito, visited Taranto to view the consequences of the attack he later briefed the staff who planned the attack on Pearl Harbor. On 28 March 1941, a pair of swordfish based at Crete contributed to the disabling of the Italian cruiser Pola during the Battle of Cape Matapan. In May 1941 six swordfish based at Shabar near Basra in Iraq participated in the suppression of a revolt in the region widely known now as the Anglo-Iraqi War. The aircraft conducted dive bombing attacks upon Iraqi barracks fuel storage tanks and bridges. The swordfish also flew a high level of anti-shipping sorties in the Mediterranean with many aircraft being based at Malta. Guided by aerial reconnaissance from other RAF units swordfish would time their attacks to arrive at enemy convoys in the dark to elude German fighters which were restricted to daytime operations. While there were never more than a total of 27 swordfish aircraft stationed on the island at a time, the type succeeded in sinking an average of 50,000 tons of enemy shipping per month across a nine-month period, during one record month. 98,000 tons of shipping were reportedly lost to the island's swordfish-equipped strike force. The recorded swordfish losses were low, especially in relation to the high sortie rate of the aircraft and in light of the fact that many aircraft lacked any blind flying equipment making night flying even more hazardous. In May 1941 the swordfish helped pursue and sink the German battleship Bismarck. On 24 May 9 swordfish from HMSR Victorious flew a late night sortie against the Bismarck under deteriorating weather conditions. Using ASV radar, the flight were able to spot and attack the ship resulting in a single torpedo hit that only caused minor damage. Bismarck's evasive maneuvers however made it easier for her enemies to catch up. On 26 May, the Ark Royal launched two swordfish strikes against Bismarck. The first failed to locate the ship, the second attack scored two torpedo hits one of which jammed the ship's rudders at a 12 degrees port helm. This made Bismarck unmaneuverable and unable to escape to port in France. She sank after intense Royal Navy attack within 13 hours. The low speed of the attacking aircraft may have acted in their favor as they were too slow for the fire control predictors of the German gunners whose shells exploded so far in front of the aircraft that the threat of shrapnel damage was greatly diminished. Some of the swordfish flew so low that most of Bismarck's flak weapons could not depress enough to hit them. 
Throughout 1942 the swordfish was progressively transferred away from the Royal Navy's fleet carriers as newer strike aircraft such as the Fairy Albacore and Fairy Barracuda were introduced. In the submarine hunter role, the swordfish contributed to the Battle of the Atlantic detecting and attacking the roaming U-boat packs that preyed upon merchant shipping between Britain and North America and in support of the Arctic convoys which delivered supplies from Britain to Russia. Swordfish attacked submarines directly and guided destroyers to their locations. During one convoy battle, Swordfish from the escort carrier HMSR Striker and Vindex flew over 1,000 hours on anti submarine patrols in 10 days. One of the more innovative uses of the Swordfish was its role with merchant aircraft carriers MAC ships. These were 20 civilian cargo or tanker ships modified to carry three or four aircraft each on anti-submarine duties with convoys. Three of these vessels were Dutch manned and several swordfish of 860 Squadron of the Dutch Naval Air Squadron were typically deployed on board. The others were manned by aircrew from 836 Naval Air Squadron. At one time this was the largest squadron operating the type with 91 aircraft. Towards the end of the war number 119 Squadron RAF operated Swordfish Mark III's with centimetric radar from airfields in Belgium. Their main task was to hunt at night for German midget submarines in the North Sea and off the Dutch coast. The radar was able to detect ships at a range of around 25 miles 48 kilometers. One of the aircraft operated by 119 Squadron in this role survives and is part of the collection of the Imperial War Museum. By 1945 nine frontline squadrons were still equipped with swordfish, overall the swordfish sank 40 new boats. The swordfish was intended to be replaced by the Fairy Albacore also a biplane but it outlived its intended successor until succeeded by the Fairy Barracuda monoplane torpedo bomber. Operational sorties of the swordfish continued into January 1945. The last active missions are believed to have been anti-shipping operations off the coast of Norway by FAA squadrons 835 and 813 where the swordfish's maneuverability was essential. The last operational squadron 836 Naval Air Squadron, which had last been engaged in providing resources for the MAC ships was disbanded on 21 May 1945 soon after the end of World War II in Europe. In the northern summer of 1946, the last training squadron equipped with the type was disbanded after which only a few examples remained in service to perform sundry duties at a few naval air stations. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening and until next time.